As soon as Michael got the ball, everyone like starting to, you know, stand up and then like, yeah, go hit it, hit it. To see the both on the pitch together was like, was huge, especially with Oscar and Rico as well. So I think it was a big moment. As soon as the, the fifth goal went in, he waved us both back and it was like, oh, this is happening now. The roar when, when you come on is, is unbeatable. When, when, when you hear your name being shouted out and then everyone everyone's sort of applauding and cheering for you, it, it really gives you a big boost. Micah, Mohamedou, Jacob, I want to start by congratulating you all on your senior debuts. It must already feel like a lifetime ago since those took place. But with your plaques going up on the senior debut wall here at the CFA, we're going to chat through those moments and what life has been like here at the CFA since then as well. I want to start off with you, Micah, the first of the, the three of you here to make your debut and you started. How nervous were you in that moment? I think the nerves were more before before the game, so like in the hotel the day before, like I was on top of my mind, like even when I went to sleep, barely got any sleep that night. I think it was just nerves. But then when I actually stepped onto the pitch and walked out in the Champions League music, I was actually more excited and more like, um, I felt more comfortable, I don't know why. You mentioned that Champions League music there. You and Mohamedou got to experience that together in our Champions League game. Do you get goosebumps when that music plays? What is that moment like when you realise you're in a Champions League game? For me, it's like, it was surreal only because you hear it on TV, you know, when you watch it at home, and then to actually be there in the moment to hear it was like, yeah, it was amazing. But watching it from the bench, seeing Micah, you know, you know, when they line up with the players, I don't know, I feel it's just great. It's so unrealistic because the only time you experience that normally is on TV, watching, you know, the first team players and being there, it was crazy. And when you're watching the game and watching City <laughs> attack and Micah be heavily inv involved in those from the bench, how confident were you that Micah could show off what he's been showing off for the EDS in oh, the mean, senior game. His goal felt natural. Like, that's his signature move, you know. Either from the left or from the right. Uh, get at the defender, you know, shift and shoot. That's his signature move, so very confident. Ball is now with Grealish. Grealish appears now to be free in his movements. That's good news. And he's played a good ball as well. And Matthias Nunes helps it out wide to Michael Hamilton. Michael Hamilton in the penalty area. Little jink round the back and hey. hits it. It's <laughs> <laughs> that boy. You know, that's the first time I've ever done a knee slide. I swear, I swear. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, on the bench, yeah. Doing gas. Yeah, like you can see, yeah. yeah gas. Just didn't know what to do. Nah. <laughs> Just a knee slide. <laughs> what are we rating the knee slide? One out of ten. It's a good one, you it's know. It's good. It's not bad, isn't it? Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. At least it wasn't one of them ones where you just well, yeah, slide. Yeah, you fall. Think of your knees. Yeah. Did you always know you were going for goal in that moment? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I just thought in that moment it was either a cross as soon as like here or it was a shot. And I thought it's better to shoot, I think, because of the angle I created the space. I'm better to shoot. I went in. What was the bench like, Mohamedou? They were, they were gas because they're like, as soon as Michael got the ball, everyone like starting to, you know, stand up and they're like, yeah, go on, hit it, hit it. And when he went in, it's brilliant. It's great. Mohamedou, you also got onto the pitch as well. Mike had been on the pitch, Oscar Bob, Phil Foden, all academy players making their way through to the first team. How important was it for you to come on and kind of continue those good performances? I mean, to be fair, I didn't expect to even come on, you know. I was just sat there after a warm up and then Pep just called my name. I was like, me? I was like, cool. And then, yeah, I don't know, we just composed, you know, make sure I was ready when I came on, you know, uh, play well, don't feel too nervous. Yeah, and yeah, you just play simple. Do you remember what Pep said to you on the touchline before you came on, what his he, instructions were? He was just were? saying, make sure you come short when, you know, the strikers jump for the bounce pass and, you know, just play your game. You're good enough. Well, we're going to have another Academy graduate debut tonight because Matteo Kovacic is being replaced by Mohamedou Sissoho. So another EDS graduate makes his way onto the field. What a night this is. How nervous were you, Mohamedou, in that moment? As you're on the side waiting to come on. No, to be fair, I wasn't that nervous, you know. Really? I actually wasn't that nervous. Um, the first few steps on the pitch, that's when I felt a little bit the atmosphere. The crowd, the, yeah, the, the crowd, crowd yeah. crazy. But then after that, I don't know. I'm glad that I wasn't nervous when I came on, you know. And yeah, I, I don't know. I feel I feel I feel comfortable when I, when I came on. It's good. It's brilliant. Yeah, that crowd was crazy. Bro, I was sat in the stands. From we, from the wall from the wall. That's what I mean, I felt from like the, from the wall, yeah, from the wall you walked out, you know, like the, um, the ground, the stadium, yeah, yeah, yeah. you go under the tunnel. Yeah, yeah even the, the tunnel yeah, was mad, didn't mad. it? The... What was it like for you getting to see Mohamedou come on in that moment, join you on the pitch? 
I think it was top, especially because me and Mo last season, we were both injured for quite a bit of time. Um, and to see them both on the pitch together was like, was huge, especially with Oscar and Rico as well. So I think it was a big moment for both of us. Yeah, big moment, didn't it? Because yeah. last season we missed a lot through injuries. Yeah. And then now to be able to make our Champions League debut together, and obviously him scoring as well. I don't know, it's a just, just great moment. Yeah. Um, also, like you mentioned, a Champions League debut Champions as League well. Debut as well like yeah. One of the most insane competitions to get your first senior minutes in. Mm -hmm. And in a nice looking kit as well, it must have been quite nice. Yeah, yeah. very nice kit. I think it gets better than that, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, you made your debut in another really important competition to us, the FA Cup at the Etihad as well. Do you remember much about that moment when you knew you were going to come on the pitch? Not, not really, no. Like, me and Michael were, were just warming up. We didn't, we didn't really think much of it. Didn't think we was going to come on because um, all the stoppages were used. But then, as soon as the the fifth goal went in, he waved us both back, and it was like, this is happening now. Like, and in my head, it was like, quick, I got to be ready fast because if I'm not if I'm not ready, he's not going to be happy. <laughs> so I put my shirt on as fast as as fast as possible, um, and then yeah, he was on the pitch. And then that's it. Once you're on the pitch and the game is playing, that's you're kind of just in your game, and and that's it. Did you offer any words of encouragement, Micah, having made your debut recently as well? Was it just go and, go and smash it? Yeah, I think it's that and just enjoy it. Because when I made my debut, everyone told me to just embrace it and enjoy it. So I think the same for Jacob, being so young to make his debut, so good. The roar when, when you come on is, is unbeatable. Like, when, when, when you hear your name being shouted out and then everyone, everyone sort of applauding and cheering for you, it, it really gives you a big boost and it, it makes you smile. They're going to give a debut to Jacob Wright. Uh, and now he's a player I've seen a lot of. He's a holding midfielder. He's very neat and tidy, a sort of Rodri-esque type player. And uh, he will go into that number six position. Kovacic makes way to allow Jacob Wright to have a first team debut. Yeah, nice. how did you feel? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it was it was a like such a good moment, like proud moment and that it all happened like so fast. Is, yeah, like so it was so quick that everything happened that like you didn't really have time to, to sit back and think like, Whoa, I'm coming on there. Like that was kinda like after the game that that you actually realised what, what had just happened. Um, but yeah, it was such a good feeling to step on the pitch and that. A little bit jealous maybe that it was at the Etihad compared to you guys away from home or I guess Red Star was pretty, still a pretty um, good place to do it? I think, yeah, just two different experiences. Obviously, the one in Red Star was different because the away crowd was so loud. Mamadou, Jacob, you both kind of play a similar position. When Jacob came on, how did you think he did? To be fair, I was proud, you know. I'll be sorry, but I was actually proud. Obviously, it's not hard for youngsters to be to come on and, you know, make the debut for the first team. And us three to do it, it was a proud moment. Yeah. And it's proud, it's good to yeah. watch. All being, all being a similar age and, and stuff exactly, as well. Like, yeah. we've all been around each other from high school, where we all went to school together. Um, and it's good, it's good for us to, like, sort of, like, say well done to each other and be proud of, proud of the moments, like, together of what we've achieved. Does it still feel surreal watching those bits back and remembering that those moments actually happened so far in your careers? I think, yeah, definitely. I think it was only a few months ago, so it's still like top of my mind, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. Yeah, for me, it still, it still hits me when I watch it back, you know. Um, like, wow, I've made my Champions League debut. I, it didn't hit until after like two, three days. Yeah, it's the same. Then my friends tell me, you know, you made your Champions League debut. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, it's so proud. Yeah, nah, it's a, it's a very surreal feeling. Obviously, there's been a lot of games since then in a short period of time, but any any free moment or even when you see it like that it just it just makes me smile like such a proud moment for for me and my family